Previously on Odd Life, we got invited to a yoga retreat up in the mountains of Ubud, but after a week it was time to go back home. The series has subtitles in Portuguese and in English. In case you don't know how to activate them, click on this link to learn. Sempre só um pozinho ao redor. Tu faz igual nesse café. Só que na verdade é um pó de café normal. Ele fica todo ali. Se lá, já tá no Não, não tô no final. Mas é bom, eu acho melhor que nesse café. É melhor que nesse café. Mas melhor é um café passado no, na. Na meia. Na meia. <risos> Desde the beginning of this trip, we knew exactly what we were looking for. First of all, we really wanted to take some time off and relax. Não consegui inverter a câmera, então vai assim mesmo. Doing enough for a while is really good. But for too long, you end up getting tired. That's when we realized that we had left aside the other part of our plans for this trip. We still needed to decide what we wanted to do on our not too far away future. One of the options was to apply for a skilled resident visa in New Zealand, as we are both engineers. But after a while we studied the possibility, we found out that the point system has changed, and that in order to get a visa, we would need to get a job offer. So for that time, as we were too far away to get a job offer, we took this option aside. Second idea, going back to Brazil and getting regular jobs in the engineering industry. Well, the economical crisis made a lot harder for someone that had just graduated to get a job. So that was not our favorite option. O que a gente tá fazendo? O que a gente tá fazendo? Tentando ser criativos. É fácil ser criativo? Nem pouco. Olha o life crafting. Teve gente que não tava dando muita bola pra minha ideia de nome, mas aí quando ela botou na tradução ela ficou impressionada com a qualidade de... It's interesting to talk about a future when we are actually 100% open to any old or new ideas. The third and winning option was to somehow try to combine our passions into one project in a creative way mixing together engineering, pictures, videos and more. And that's how we came up with the Odd Life Crafting project. Of course the plan is not that simple, but as we still have two months of sabbatical time, let's talk about that later on. Pequena formiga atômica. Esse capacete é meio grande para mim. Eu tenho que botar... prender meu cabelo para fazer uma pressão dentro. Essa é a saída do nosso hotel. Caminho de todo dia, várias e várias vezes. Para a esquerda vai para a praia, para a direita vai para a cidade. Quer dizer, é o começo do caminho que vai para a cidade. Well, at this point, our time in Indonesia was coming to an end. With our 60 days visa expiring, it was time to move on. But before that, we still wanted to show to our friend Kaku a little bit of our culture. Chegamos juntinhos, se não fosse se combinasse, nós chegávamos juntos. Estaria atrás. If we, we are if we try to get here at the same time, we would not get here at the same time. So Estamos aqui no restaurante brasileiro, apresentando a comida brasileira para ele, para ver se ele gosta. Eu acho que ele vai gostar. Obrigado. Yeah, of course, we were excited to explore new place, but at the same time, somehow, we knew we would miss our amazing time in Bali. This island where we met new friends and had also the opportunity to reunite with old ones.
At least after Thailand, we should have one more week in Indonesia before going to New Zealand. Oops, I've just said too much. After so long in Bali, we didn't even need to take a taxi to the airport. We drove our own motorbike. It took a while until we realized that this horn actually was for us. You want to go to the airport? Yeah. Please go there. Oh. Only car come there. And how do I go around now? How can I go? Uh, can I go back? Yeah, here? back. Yeah. I didn't understand why it's you okay. Did. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> so I turn left then? Yeah, turn left. Sure. Oh, is that? That yeah, one went. Oh. <laughs> Supposedly, motorbikes were not allowed to go to the airport into that way. Weird, as we kept seeing them going on that direction. Well, I guess Bali just didn't want to let us go. Deixei uma moto aqui no estacionamento, como combinado, com a chave dentro do banco. E agora vamos caminhar para o aeroporto. Só porque a gente ainda está em solo balinês. Eu achei que no aeroporto nós agora, aí ia acabar com mais outra coisa, mas tem nas Igorem por aqui também. E o meu último... é meio nas Igorem e meio gato-gato. Último nas Igorem por 17 dias. Depois a gente volta. Yep, as promised, I ate at least one nas Igorem every single day of our trip. And to be honest, I already missed them. Thanks for following our journey to our not too far away future. Next week, we fly to Bangkok and start exploring Thailand.